What's up guys, welcome back to another flight report and today we are flying from here, London Gatwick to Stockholm, Arlanda. On board Norwegian, which is operated by Norwegian Air International and the operating aircraft is a Boeing 737-800. The registration is EIGBB, Golf Bravo Bravo, built in June 2008. So it's, did you know that this plane is like the second oldest member of the Norwegian fleet? So it's one of the oldest planes in the Norwegian fleet. So all other older planes which used to be here have gone now. So this plane is EIGBB. No sky interior and also has very old seats. I think it should be comfortable for a two hour flight. So flight number is D82856 and flight time should be around two hours once again. And by the way, this plane right now just came to a stop after landing from, after landing from Stockholm, Orlando. Then operated as D82853 and will now operate as D82856 back there to Stockholm. And after that, it should be flying back to Gatwick, I believe. So, um, seats for today is 19F and right now we're at gate number two at Gatwick Airport South Terminal. Over there we have some British Airways planes, Norwegian Thomas Cook and over there we have Norwegian 787. That just came from LA. So, we'll see you on the plane then. So, bye bye. Okay, so we're boarding now. So this is the fun bit. I decided to board from the front because it would be less crowded. Going on board Golf Bravo Bravo. Can't wait to get on board him. So he's taking us to Stockholm today. The old seats, by the way. This is 19 RC. Oh, that goes. So legroom's okay. This way we'll be able to take off faster. Please store your hand luggage in the overhead locker compartment or under the seat in front of you. Thank well, you. My sister new 2018 magazine by the way. It's the outside. As you can see, the seat's a bit old. Okay guys, so we're now on board. ERGBB used to be LNNOF when we flew on, um, when it was on um, Norwegian Air Shuttle. This plane's not that new, so. Uh, the seats are a bit older. And it's good for cabin. So by the way, the captain just talked to us and he said that the flight time is two hours and 40 minutes, I think. I think it is a bit long. It's a bit longer than usual, I think. I don't have a seat pocket. I only have one here. Can I go up, slice, cross check and report? So I think we're about to depart now. Leg rub's okay. But not as good as the newer planes on Norwegian. So when I came on board, I thought I went in seat 19. I went in seat 20F by accident. Now I'm in 19, so I moved. Flight arm and cross-checked. Right, so uh, flight time should be around 2 hours and 40 minutes, Ladies I think. Ladies and gentlemen, the 
use of electronic devices containing radio transmitters is not permitted as they may interfere with aircraft systems. Mobile phones and other electronic devices with flight mode must be placed into flight mode now. All electronic devices that do not support flight mode must be switched off during takeoff and landing. Headsets attached to electronic devices are not permitted during the safety demonstration. Before takeoff, please raise your seat back to an upright position. Fold your tray table away and fasten your seatbelt. Please keep it fastened whenever seated. All hand luggage on the floor must be placed under the seat in front of you. So, um, if you are seated next to the overwing exits, please keep this area clear during takeoff and landing. Well, the tray table is a bit loose. The current board is here for your safety. Oh, they're not going to have a safety video on this plane some reason. Okay, so I'll see you during pushback. All right, so we're pushing back. The British Airways A320. So the first engine's on. <laughs> and there we have another British Airways. So here we have gates one, two, and three. Gate two, where we boarded from. So we'll be flying to Arlanda Airport, Terminal 5. Oh wait, on the wing it says Norwegian.no. It means Norwegian.norway. It's meant to be Norwegian.com, they just changed it because of, um, they just couldn't change it. Well, the plane is too old anyway, so it's only going to leave the fleet in a few years' time, hopefully. Oh, I'm lucky for not getting a Sky Interior plane. Because last time we got Ryanair Sky Interior was amazing. I won't be delaying this, this upload because of um, being basically going to upload this on my um, laptop because I just got it new. More flaps. Well, flaps being extended. This flaps 20. Isn't it flaps 12? I think it's flaps 15 or something. So we are almost ready for takeoff. So we're making our way towards the runway. Well, that's the Thomas Cook Airlines A321. And here we have some British Airways 320s and 319. I think that's Tango Charlie Delta Fox or that Thomas Cook because 
we obviously, obviously, um, I just saw it from the thing. From when I was sitting in, sitting airside. I think it's flaps, isn't it 15 or 25? Could be flaps 20, I don't know. But on 737 800, like the 737 NG and 737 Max, they should have up to flaps 40. This is Aer Lingus A320. Registration is EI. The, co the registration code in Ireland. EI DVI, Delta Victor India. This one's, I think he's from Dublin or somewhere. Delivery needs to change on Aer Lingus, it's too old. Okay, so I haven't been flying on Norwegian for a while. I haven't been flying on them since July, not for six months. I'm happy to fly back on them again and take a break from Ryanair because I've been flying on it too much. So we're about to leave, so here we have four British Airways aircraft in my sight. We have an A319 there on gate 18. That's Vueling on gate 24 and another Thomas Cook, that's Tango Charlie Del Delta Juliet. Thomas Cook K321 on gate 28 and Norwegian 787 Dreamliner, registration is LN LNL. I know that he arrived from LA a few hours ago and he's on gate 27. I don't know where he's going to now. Oh, look at that Dreamliner, it's a whopper, it's a magic whopper. Over there we have some easy jets on North Terminal. Over there we have a BA 777 200ER. I don't think we'll see any Monarch Airlines here anymore. Oh, we have two, two Airways 737s there. At the North Terminal. I prefer South Terminal more than North Terminal. So here are the remote stands where you can usually have like um, planes like 2E EasyJet and BA. Then I We're going so slow. There we have Virgin seven four seven and EasyJet A three nineteen. Some other easy jets and another Virgin 747. <laughs> Guys, it's going to take really long to get to the runway. So I'll see you once we're there. Okay, so I think we're making our way onto the runway now. It's almost time to say bye to London Gatwick Airport. But we will come back in February for a visit, just for a week. I'm not going to live in Sweden, I'm only going to be there until summer. It's time to say bye bye to Gatwick Airport and the UK. Whoa. So, are you all ready?
behind the gear is up. So we finally took off.
guys, so now we're halfway through the flight, so... We just found our legroom's okay though. By the way, the seats on this look different. So not many aircraft on Norwegian have them now, so it's only a very few, probably three or four aircraft have them. So these seats are like getting really unusual now in Norwegian. I like flying on the sky interior, you know. This aircraft is a bit old, don't know why we were unlucky this time. Still looks okay though, still looks nice and clean. Thank you. The seat is still comfortable. So let's take a look at the um, Menu. So we uh, this new menu that we have um, British egg and bacon muffin, toast, these and like sandwiches, Hong Kong sandwiches, and just generally like a big sele wide selection of sandwiches and a chicken burger and salad. Just the UK menu. So a chocolate brownie as well. So I might get that. I'm not going to have any sandwich purchased on this flight, I'm going to have one that I bought from the airport. So I'm probably going to get chocolate brownies because that's obviously, you know. Um, as dessert. And this is the um, duty free shopping menu. They just generally have a wide selection of items you can buy on board. toiletries and everything, perfumes and other toilettes. I like the background by the way. I don't actually know where we're flying over but I can tell you that we're not flying over the UK so we should be over like uh, Europe, Western Europe or somewhere like Belgium, Holland or should, should almost be approaching Denmark, should be flying over Denmark and then onto the southwest coast of, southwest coast of Sweden and then it should be landing into Orlando. So the flight number is D8-2856, 2856 is and um, Landing, I will, will show you the whole entire wing, I promise. 
I'm just uh, gonna eat something that I got from a re got from somewhere a cafe, a kind of a hot sandwich from in the Gatwick Airport. So I'm just gonna eat that. So let's take a look at the seat pocket contents. You have your menu, and you also have your uh, N by Norwegian magazine and safety card. You don't have any sickness bags here, by the way. I'm just going to go ahead and order a water and a chocolate brownies. Remember, it's good to stay well hydrated on a flight, especially if it's a long flight. I just, um, just set guys. is just generally not new it's not too enjoyable to fly on on this type of aircraft with the old interior it's really good when you take the sky interior because it's like got more headroom it's generally newer aircraft sorry couldn't make it this time so I've only been on Norwegian with these old seats three times in my life. You could go and watch my flow report from Gatwick to Malaga on board Fox Row Hotel Charlie. We had this seat, these kind of seats as well. Unfortunately, not new. I was pleased to get on that because I never really mostly get on these seats. We have the new Recaro seats and the old ones. I'll just say, guys. So I got this chocolate brownie and also got the water which is in my seat pocket. This chocolate brownie slices, there are two of these.
we're not too long away from Sweden now, not too far. Should be landing in about an hour or something, an hour and a half, I think. Look at the outside. Let's just enjoy nice food with great views over sun, almost coming into sunset, but great views over that horizon over there. So uh, we've finally reached darkness, so which means that we're not too long left now. So we're not too far from Sweden. I think we should be over Denmark, or maybe southwest coast of Sweden already. I don't know. <sighs> Haven't had a chance yet to look at the map because. Said we've already seen the menu. This is a safety instruction card. And um, to be honest, 
I've enjoyed this flight, it's been a nice flight from Gatwick and I'm hoping that I will fly Norwegian again in the future and I'm proud of Norwegian's service, they have a really good service excellent low cost airline Just um, reducing our altitude. So you can start to see now. So we're not fully prepared for landing yet, but in the cabin we are, but we fastened our seatbelt, but uh, the flaps are still on zero, the flaps haven't been extended yet, and the cabin lights are still off. The cabin lights are still on, and the landing lights are off still. Wait for them. Flaps are now set to around um, 10 or don't know, 15. I think they're probably going to use full reverse like they always do. Because it's not late at night and they might be able to use it. Sweden now and I can see Sweden they're probably going to well, landing gear gear down wheels are out flaps should be I think flaps are on 20 or something I don't know So we are prepared for landing. I can't 
Honestly, well, I think they're being, it's going to be flaps 30. The flaps are on 30, I believe. Actually, they are, so I don't think it's going to be a hard braking. I don't think Norwegian really does that, apart from sometimes. So as I just said, I think they're going to use full reverse, like always, second to tenth, like 70 to 75%. Because it's snowing as well, the runway might be wet, so they best use full reverse, I think. I think I can see Ireland Airport. Yeah, I can. So that's Ireland Airport. So welcome everyone. So we're coming into land. Are you ready? Good touchdown. Full reverse. There we are. Good landing, no hard braking. So this plane did deflect full spoilers because it did because it has the SFP I think. Woo. So welcome everyone to Stockholm Island Airport. So it was flaps 30, I believe. Also, ladies and gentlemen, there are a few passengers who need to catch their flight to Helsinki. We would like to ask for your cooperation to, re to remain seated until they disembark the plane first. And finally, we thank you Wait, wasn't it flaps 40? It might be 30, probably. Thank you and have a good day. So making our way to the um, thing. So making our way to the terminal. Okay guys, so it's been a while. <coughs> This is Terminal 2, where we have Air France and uh, also another airline, which I don't know. And we also have a Thomas Cook. 
is that one um, Czech Airlines? And I think that next to Terminal 2 should be Terminal 3 as well. So did you know that until 2012, Norwegian used, used to operate all of its international flights from Terminal 2? And it operates domestic flights from Terminal 4. The domestic terminal here is Terminal 4 and 3. Terminals 2 and 5 for international, but like many airlines have moved from Terminal 5 to 2, like British Airways and I don't know, like some other airlines. Now, British Airways is now in Terminal 2 and um, some other airlines that I can't think of. Another Air France and KLM go from Terminal 2. Along with some other airlines. And I think this is Terminal 3. So Terminal 5 is the biggest terminal in Ireland Airport. So that's, uh, we have some SAS aircraft as well as a Norwegian. And that's Terminal 4 by the way, where the domestic flights depart and arrive from. We have some more SAS aircraft here by the way. Oh wow, we have a Norwegian 787. Don't know where he's off to. Oh, please don't tell me we're going to be parked on 19 again. Oh no. We have some more 747s on SAS. I don't know the registration of that Norwegian, by the way. Uh, I don't know, I can't see. But a Norwegian 787-9 at Arlanda. So, they used to have 787-8, which they still do on some flights, I think. They've only started having it for a few months. These 787-9s. By the way, the registration, if you want to know it, it's, um... I can't see it. Wow, isn't that plane huge? I think the registration of that plane over there is LNNII. Isn't it? I'm not sure, but I think it is. Oh no, we're parked on gate 19 again. So we found our parking position. I think the registration of that plane is LNLNK, which used to be GCIXO. Okay, so we're coming to a stop. That's going, I don't know where it's going to. Okay, so came to a stop and welcome everyone to Stockholm Island Airport. So there we are. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Stockholm. We're having quite weak hours to stay yet, so we can remain seated with your seatbelts fastened. Wait, what the hell? Very grateful for that. And besides that, we do have those passengers connecting to Helsinki, so we can remain seated for them to get off first. That would be very nice. Thank you very much for your patience and uh, have a nice day here in Stockholm. Passengers to connection to Helsinki, please. Thank you. Captain, think... this arm slice cross check and report. So we're finally at Arlanda. Slice this arm back cross check. So I came to another stop, and I think it should be. Oh, the engines are shutting down. <coughs> so passengers to Helsinki have to remain seated, by the way. I'm not sure if we can get off here, but I think we can. So anyway, thank you for watching though. The fastest seabelt sign is still on.
the engine's shutting down. I don't know what the hell is going on. Same time. So passengers for Helsinki are only getting off, only passengers for Helsinki, so we have to remain seated still. We'll give you an update. Okay guys, so sorry by the way, so I think we can get off now, so anyway, thank you for watching and I'd like to thank you for taking this trip with me and I'd like to um, welcome you here. I'd like to thank you for watching once again and please like, comment and subscribe to my videos if you like trains, inflation, aviation, etc. And also please like my recent videos and also please do like this video and there won't be any flood reports for all but there will be one in February going to and from London. Don't know if it's Stansted or Gatwick here but I will let you know in the news video. So um, I think we can almost get off so please also like and comment on my videos and if you have any questions just ask me and never suffer in silence. So I will see you as soon as I can. By the way, um, what plane is that? I can't see it, isn't it? Um, I can't see it. Because anyway, welcome here everyone and thank you for watching and once again, please like this video. And if you have any questions, just ask me. So once again, thank you very much and bye bye to you all. <laughs>